Martinez, editor of Shark Diver Magazine, and this is my video blog for SharkDiverMag.com. Um, back from California, it was, uh, it was an amazing trip, man. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea, it was our California shark adventure was um, nine species of sharks in six days. And the sharks that we were looking for were mako sharks, blue sharks, seven gills, soup fin, angel sharks, horn sharks, swell sharks, leopard sharks, and the gray smooth hound. Um, we didn't find the nine species of sharks. The, the wild thing though was the, the species we did find were the ones that I thought, okay, you know, those are probably not the ones we're going to see. And the species we didn't find are the ones that I thought, yeah, okay, those are the ones that we probably will be seeing out there. Um, so, it, you know, it was kind of a flip-flop. It was phenomenal. Um, we didn't see blue sharks, which I really thought, okay, if there's one shark that we're going to see during this trip, it will be the blue shark. The leopard sharks, we did find the leopard sharks, but they were really hard to find this season for whatever reason. Um, we got them on the first day, and then we went out there two or three more times, and we, we didn't find them. Of all the days out there, of our six days, we only had one skunking, of one day where we didn't see any sharks. And that was actually on our second day of the adventure. We went out for Makos and Blues. Um, the water was, you know, 63 degrees, you know, it was really cold, it was rainy, you know, the surface conditions were really bad. So, you know, part of that was partly to blame, you know, the other part was the fact that, you know, the pelagic sharks are just not out there in the numbers that they used to be due to overfishing. We did go out there on day five and we ended up having a phenomenal day looking for our pelagic. Um, we ended up spending a uh, you know two and a half hours with three mako sharks and had a phenomenal trip, man. It was just uh, you know just one of those 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 days that you know you you live and you dream about. You know, it was one of my best days in the water ever with mako sharks, and uh, you know I was just really stoked that we were able to share that. You know, we were able to to get those kind of sharks and our guests were able to experience something like that because that you know those kind of encounters, especially with mako sharks, because they're so skittish, really shy animals. Um, and they don't they normally don't hang around for very long so to have them there for two and a half hours was phenomenal man uh, the unicorn shark for me the shark that I was really I really wanted to see and I was kind of afraid that that shark wasn't going to show up it was going to be a no-show was a seven gill shark I, was, I mean a seven gill shark is a shark I've never seen one before so I really wanted to see that shark and uh, it you know, go out there to La Jolla Cove. They hadn't seen one in over a month. I mean, really the sightings, they got really strong for a while there in July and August. And then come September, they just started dying down. I think a lot of it had to do with the spear fishermen are going out there and uh, they're starting to kill the sharks because there's, they say that, uh, you know, the sharks are stealing their catches. So now the spear fishermen are starting to target them. And it's just another bullshit excuse that they're using to, you know, to kill a very large, you know, shark or you know get a big ass trophy that they can show off on the beaches when they come out of the water um fortunately the cove is a protected area you can't spearfish there but you know in the other areas you know the sharks don't necessarily stay in that one area they're migrating and they're moving around through all the kelp beds and you know they're going to the areas that are unprotected and the spear fishermen are going there and just really you know causing a lot of damage so unfortunately that's happening and uh, I really believe that that's one of the reasons why the sightings have dropped. But we got lucky. We ended up finding a, a seven gill on our very first dive there at the cove. We went out there looking for them three days, uh, three different times, and we found them two out of three times. So, you know, it was, I mean, it was just one of those, those things that got me really fired up, you know, the, an encounter with a, with, a, with a seven gill shark. And it was beautiful because on, on the first dive out at the cove, uh, soup fin is another shark that we were chasing that was after. And... Um, to be able to find one of them too, they were, we, you know, when we when we saw the seven gill, when the seven gill showed up, she just kind of came out of the kelp bed, you know, uh, and just you know cruised by us. And right above her, right at the end, as a, as the seven gill was swimming away, a soup fin shark, you know, kind of cruised overhead. So it was just, you know, I mean, it was just a fantastic day, man. Um, the trip overall was amazing. The people that joined me, thank you very much. There's a lot of guys I really wanted to thank for helping us out, you know, give it, helping us with the spots, you know, with Chum, uh, Dave Rudy, Walter Heim, Michael Bear. Um, you guys were phenomenal. Thank you very much for really, uh, for, for helping us out, you know, with trying to find the spots. 
uh, Margo, you thanks for, for you know giving us some tips on as to where to help us find the seven gills as well. Danny Howard, thanks a lot for, for hooking us up and taking us out to see the pelagics. Uh, so yeah, I mean, trip was awesome, man. And uh, looking forward to next season. Looking forward to, to, to trying some new things and, and seeing if we can get the sharks to to come out and say hi a lot more. Uh, we'll definitely be doing this again. I really enjoyed the blogging. I really liked being able to share the emotions with you guys, share you know the excitement of the moment, and uh, I, you know it, it worked out really well. So I'm pretty stoked. Um, at, you know, first week of October we go back out to Tiger Beach, and uh, and you know I'll be doing it again. Unfortunately, I wish I could do it every day out there, but because you know of the the way it's set up, where we don't have internet access, you know all that stuff. I'm going to be filming. I'll be filming it there, and then I'll be uploading it a week later. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing it, man. It was a lot of fun. I really like sharing that you know that world with you guys, and and uh, we're going to keep charging, man. Um, Cheers till then.